Hey everybody, it's Vitaly Dubinin and I'm super excited to share with you right now a truly revolutionary decentralized social media platform on the blockchain called Kandao that's going to be launching very soon in a few short months and right now I want to share with you the big idea, the big vision of Kandao as right besides me are the founders of Kandao, Pavel Borilsky and uh, Robert Wesker. And um, I want to start with you guys, you know, share a little bit about what is Kandao, what is the big idea, the big vision behind Kandao and why it is so relevant right now more than any time before. Sure. We want to make a protocol for all people, all kind of digital and offline assets. And we like to call ourselves like a marketplace of everything. And we also tokenize people and uh, not only businesses and um, people as an assets on the marketplace of everything can have their value yes and all data on the marketplace are gonna be decentralized and people will have the, all the data in their hands because they own the private key to mm. all data possible yeah yeah so basically what we want to do is to lead to mass adoption of crypto because so far uh, unfortunately, but blockchain is still um, not ready from UX point of view to be adopted. Right. I mean, can you imagine that people on the street yeah. will answer your question, please tokenize a car. They will look at you, like, oh, what, what do you want, you know, <laughs> right, that's the, que that's the thing. And what we want to do is to bring tools that will make blockchain simple and easy to use. Mm. So if you can compare it to maybe what Steve Jobs did when they bring iPhone, right? right. He said that smartphones are really not that smart yes. and not that easy to use. Exactly. And it's the same thing we have with blockchain. <laughs> so we need to fix it. Exactly. And there's right now like four and a half billion people that are using social media, right? And uh, what, how many people out of these billions you want to capture, attract to All of the... Them. All of them. <laughs> I like this answer. Yeah. <laughs> so three billion, four billion uh, yeah, but, in the next. But few you years. know why? I mean, answer is very simple because basically, right now, yeah, you don't own. Unfortunately, this is what you should own. So all your data, relations between people, uh, like whatever, basically you create all the content is not yours. I mean, imagine you um, maybe have some followers, like few millions of followers right. on Instagram. What about if you break some rules of uh, Instagram? What they, happened to like Andrew Tate? I think he got banned from social yeah, media. What, what happens to his followers then? <laughs> you know? He loses the access. Yeah, and that's the thing. And if you would have followers in your wallet and you have private keys to it, this is a different story. Of course. And that's the change. Wow. This is like... The, the mind is, is, is blowing off right now. That's kind of leading me to the next question I wanted to ask you about uh, the, the problems with the social media as it exists right now. The Facebooks, the Instagrams, the, the TikToks, the Twitters. You know, what do you see as the major problems with those social media problem, uh, platforms right now? They're kind of boring currently. <laughs> the internet is becoming more spectacular, but social media not anymore. Uh, a lot of fakes. A lot of unwanted uh, articles, unwanted interactions, a lot of spam, a lot of this stuff. The current social media is like not providing what they were supposed to provide since the very beginning. We, I think, we, we, I just have this feeling we lost something in the, in the process. So also from the perspective of revenue and uh, business, uh, try to imagine that Kandao is a protocol which is combined with Facebook and LinkedIn. So it became like a social media business kind of stuff, which is giving you benefits. You can profit from interactions. You can profit from businesses, but on the social media Right now media on level. Facebook, on Instagram, uh, billions of dollars are kind of flowing, but not to the pockets of users. They earn nothing. Right, <laughs> right. exactly. So we create multi-level network. This is how, well, how we call it. And uh, all kind of income streams, starting from marketing income stream, because this is like the web to zero is about marketing streams, right? Every application has the money coming flow, the internet, uh, commercial, advertisement, whatever kinds. That doesn't matter of application. So we want to 
share the money with the community through the MLN, the multi-level network. Not just leave the cut by the application, cut by, cut by the uh, creator, we can just distribute the rest of the money to the protocol so everybody can gain. Also a centralization piece uh, of those platforms. They are centralized. Yeah, they are centralized. I mean, and then because of this, you don't control what you create, was what I said at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And right now, if you will have uh, private keys to your storage, private keys to your uh, relations, so let's say with the followers, or you control also your friends. I mean, imagine if we right now go to Facebook and let's say I add you to friends and you add me and I mean, it's confirmed, done. But then I go to LinkedIn and I need to repeat this operation again. I mean, why? You don't like me or what? <laughs> so the thing is that um, this is happening inside databases of these, you know, companies, which mean that they um, don't let you to, you know, hold it, to own it, right? right? And if you would have it, basically, if you go to different 55th uh, application, which is another Instagram, another TikTok, another whatever, then basically you will already have these followers, you will already have these friends, you will already have your reference. And by the way, when... The idea is people will not leave uh, Kandao to something else because they love Kandao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is not like a monopoly. It's just a glue, like mm. interconnector of everything. This is why we call it marketplace of everything. So we can interconnect, but you don't manage the rules. You don't tell people what, what they should do. They can do whatever to some extent, of course. Yeah. The trick is that we are building over layer, kind of another layer for blockchain, so that that could be many applications. And by the way, we want to incentivize people to build different applications like wow. TikTok, like Instagram, and therefore everyone will be able to be in, you know, mm. and still you can participate in it. So you mentioned something really cool, guys. I hope you catch this, you know having private keys to your followers, private keys to the content. Can you elaborate on that? Because in Kandao, you can turn every piece of content into NFT. I mean, it's immediately happening. Mm. And then imagine you produce your reels. And right now you have NFT connected to your reels. Yeah. And then maybe you can even sell it. But imagine also that part. Uh, if you create, um, let's say this reel, uh, normally, for now, it can generate your revenues from advertising. But if you will think about Web3, which is deeper because it's about transactional layer, then much more can happen. For example, what if uh, people uh, in your network, uh, they will maybe buy a car, they will create a project, they will work for someone, they will go to restaurant. All of this stuff is transaction. So you can get cut of it. And if you have, for example, a business and you have profit from one industry, like from this particular business, if you would let your audience, your client, clients connect their wallets and so join also to Kandao protocol uh, through you, then you will have benefits from every industry. Let's say that I love a particular restaurant in Dubai. And let's say this Dubai restaurant is inside the Kandao platform. And I tell my followers, protocol. Hey, <laughs> protocol. Go there, <laughs> buy some food there. It's an amazing restaurant. And they go and follow this restaurant, uh, you know, and they go and do something there. So we can benefit actually. From yeah, it. that's the thing. That's wow. the thing. Because if people, for example, pay by card, which is connected to the system, then, you know, like fees are everywhere. And we want to give it back to the people, like wow. with data. That's the wow, point. That, that, that's really cool. So I want to make sure that I have everything but, else. You know, but then if you can check it. And in the meantime, I tell you yeah. also that part. Because we are, uh, we bring referral, on-chain referral. This is something completely new. And by the way, it already works. You can, you can connect wallet to my wallet. And this is a little bit different than friends and followers. Because let's say all of us, we can be friends. All of us, we can follow each other. But, but we can unfollow. Of course we can unfollow. <laughs> Always. <laughs> but the thing is... But if you follow on the blockchain, can you unfollow on the blockchain too? I mean, it's smart contract and you yeah. can... Yes, yeah, you can. of course you can. Okay. Uh, what I want to say is that... Um, I was just... Okay, so about referrals. If you invite me... Yes. 
then our wallets are connected and already Robert cannot invite me anymore. Mm. So Just you can invite. invite you can invite one person only once. It means unless they create a new wallet. So, but imagine no, 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 no. This also uh, we also solved that. Uh, but <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> we solved a lot of stuff. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> <clears throat> but imagine competition between influencers, right. where they Who have similar, similar, uh, not followers, referrals, Refer similar mm -hmm. audience, and they cover each other. So who will take those referrals first, mm. right? And what that, what that gives you? Because if you invite these referrals, and because we have this multi-level network, so then uh, from these referrals, these people will invite friends. Why? Because it's a social network. So it's like normal. And then you have benefits from multiple levels in this particular network. And that's why you can imagine maybe this thing. If we have maybe an artist, content creator, influencer, that doesn't matter who it is. Uh, then, and uh, how much money can he make maybe on YouTube or on Spotify? If you get Peanuts. millions of <laughs> millions of views, yeah. then basically will make maybe a few hundreds or a few thousand dollars, right? It's not not much. Not much. No. So what about if, except of advertising, you have this transactional layer, and imagine people will come to you first time to uh, to see what you did and then they connect wallet to your wallet so if you have 1 million views you will get let's say in theory in this case 1 million referrals can you imagine this <laughs> then you have millions and then they invite friends this is a big part and essentially that means that they instantly can benefit and monetize their influence the whole network yeah the, the whole, whole network the whole network that will create huge incentive for influencers to want to be part of this. Yeah. yeah. Because it's all like in their social wallet. They have the private keys and they like, hey followers, come on here because yeah. I'm going right. to be delivering a lot of value here yeah. on this platform. And also maybe they can charge for like a premium content. So like this yeah. is this normal stuff, right? But in general, general revolution or evolution is about that people will have back what they should own and they do not unfortunately and because they produce it and we connect with this transactional layer they will make much more than ever because people ask us a question why influencers will come it's simple because they will make much more than ever before so you know we pay them <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome so um, you know how long you've been working on uh, on this project uh, when, when did it start? Like, tell a little bit of the backstory. Yeah, the, the answer is a little bit tricky because I started like a long time ago, like yeah. already 15 years ago. <laughs> and uh, I created uh, one of the first social networks on the, on the, in Europe, I don't know, maybe even on the planet. Uh, I was at times when Facebook, start, Facebook started, 2004, 2005. He will not tell you, but he created his first social <laughs> network one month before Facebook. Yeah, wow. yeah, that's, that's, that's true. We, we basically, from the, yeah. You're far ahead of the game. <laughs> yeah, I had many years to, 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 to get experience and to think about the future, so yeah. Yes. And uh, but uh, we met uh, with Pavel in 2019, and after 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 some like one year talking about what can be potentially of the future, then we decided to work together because I had a lot of experience and my vision is like uh, infinitely deep, and Pavel shared the same on the even have more huge experience in, in social networks. Yeah, I am very experienced, so I wanted to connect the uh, young character of the futuristic person with my huge experience and the visionary stuff as well so we combine together is a perfect what, what's your strength uh, for, uh, my for this leading the, this is such a huge ambition mm -hmm. and mm. it's crazy uh, what uh, like say you know what I'm gonna do this like what what drove you to like you know what I'm, I I can do this I mean you know um, when I was still in high school basically 11 years ago more or less then um, I was lucky to uh, generate first passive income uh, so I had some websites and then um, I hired some people some friends and basically that um, you've been an entrepreneur basically I mean 
uh, forever, <laughs> actually. Uh, and the thing is that that gave me um, very good input and a chance to think about, okay, so what can I do in my life that will improve other lives? So, and then I was thinking about, okay, so if I do something, let's do something once and for all, something big, you know? Yes, yes. And, um, and then I thought, okay, so if we do something big, then what that would be? Um, and maybe what will be after Facebook? Because, you know, it was already big. <laughs> and then I thought um, about things like people don't have really power. So if you have one person, if you consider one person, then basically um, he or she cannot do much unless it's a billionaire or super, or super well connected. So, but if you would put one million of people in one place, then things change. Think about Wall Street bets, and that was, I think, three years ago, right? So, and they... The GameStop. G GameStop, yeah, they bought GameStop sto uh, stocks, and basically they generated like 11 billion losses for funds. I don't say it's good, basically, you know, but what I want to say is that... The power of uh, power people of community, collab collaborating. Yeah, exactly. This is the point. So, and what we want to do is to deliver engine of multi-role so that people in different roles could join forces and build things together. So think about this GameStop, why, why I said it, because that was also a role. We can consider it was a role of buyer, right? All of them were buyers. So what if we would identify people as a programmer, designer, influencer, I don't know, an advisor, um, and so on, and you will, you will identify, let's say, 50,000 people in different roles in one place, what they can do, mm. right? They can do a this, lot, they can collaborate with each other. And yeah, and, and then they will be fairly rewarded in token because every project will have a token. The same like people, because every, every person will get social token. And by the way, you can think about why do I need social token? Answer is because you will share success with other people. So if I hold token of a programmer, by the way, this is how we explain true roles because it's super simple and accessible. If I hold token of a, um, of a programmer, guess what he will do? Probably a piece of software. He will create an application, right? So I will get part of this application. If I will get a part of um, an artist uh, success, then if he will create a song which will take off, then I will take part of success of this song. Yes. So basically, this is how I work. This is uh, like, I, I really like that you lead to this idea of social token because this is truly revolutionizing. You are saying, hey, we can actually tokenize and monetize a person. So how does that work? You know, so people have their own market cap, their own holders, their, you know, and if people have no idea, like, how to even do that. They're not technical like you guys, you know. They don't understand code, and, you know. They're just regular people. Uh, but you say that regular people, even a grandma, can come to that platform yeah. and she can tokenize herself. Is that correct? Exactly. But you know how to do it? You need to delete part of uh, telling people, okay, think about your tokenomics. No, don't think about tokenomics, you don't need that, you know. And what you need is automated system that will work for everyone and you can just do it with few clicks, basically. So, and uh, how to do it? We deliver smart contract, by the way, we call it bonding curve smart contract, that um, manage your supply and price so basically, it's minting tokens if I buy, and it's burning tokens if you sell. So basically, it's kind of ATM. Right. So, and basically, this is also solving liquidity issue, because how would you like to tokenize 8 billion people? How will you deliver liquidity to them? Like, it's impossible. But if you don't have to deliver liquidity, because I can buy at 3 p.m. today, and you can sell tomorrow at 9, we don't trade with each other. We trade with smart contracts. Smart contracts. That's the thing. All right, guys, so we are actually forced to move to a different location right now because it's not allowed to be filming here, but 
as you follow us to the new location we continue. All right, we're back to with a more private and quiet place. So let's continue. We talked about uh, the ATM concept of uh, interacting with smart contract and how people can monetize themselves with a social token. Can you summarize? Yeah, okay. So first of all, we are using smart contract um, as a tool, as ATM, that people could use to generate tokens and to trade tokens of anyone. So therefore, we are solving liquidity issue for every single person. And you, for example, as a social token owner, can charge from every single transaction. Doesn't matter if someone buy or sell, you can charge your fee. Let's say you choose 2%. And then you charge 2% from every transaction. Plus, uh, if you have some of your tokens, then you participate in growth of this token. First. Second. We, if we hold your token, we participate in your success. So if you will generate income, uh, maybe because of advertising contract, then we get part of it, and then you decide how much. Or maybe, let's say you build a project with some guys, then let's say you have 10 million tokens of this concrete project, and you decide that you will share maybe 10% uh, of your success. Yeah. So you will share 1 million tokens, to all your social token holders. So they really participate in your success, right? So and th that's whoever the is the holder, the influencer has a, a social token, which means anyone can have a social token. But let's say an influencer has a lot of followers and they hold their social token. So whoever is a holder, he can share with them the yeah. revenue of whatever project he's doing. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy, <laughs> crazy concept. And I, I don't think anyone else is doing it. But you know also, just one second. Uh, so people are one thing. You can decide to buy social token of uh, certain roles, right? Maybe some programmers, maybe you're looking for another Elon Musk, but maybe you would like to get only you know, part of success of lawyers because it's more, maybe more stable. But on the other hand, if you would like to manage your risk, you can um, purchase tokens of a project. So basically, it's index of people, right? So in this way, you can manage your risk. So you decide who you buy, or maybe group of people you buy, or maybe assets that they produce. That's the thing. And it's with the roles, different. you say that uh, Kandao, you can uh, monetize your roles. So with the roles, if somebody is, let's say, saying that they are working at uh, Microsoft. But in s social media, they put it, but you can't really verify. It's not on the no. blockchain. So here, the Microsoft company will be able to verify that those people actually work in Microsoft, correct? Yeah, we will not only cover the authentication of the whatever information is there on the in the space, but uh, we also I believe we are the first platform being the protocol platform, so this is the reference to other applications and platforms, so that people are getting paid from the digital system for what they do every day anyway. Because we play different roles, this is why we created the engine we call multi-role. So we can be a coder or designer or have the function of buying, selling on Amazon or wherever, I hopefully on our marketplace of everything, but just to compare, you can be a creator, you can have some licenses of uh, maybe some contracts you want to share or make money with or provide as a collateral. You can do all this stuff from the normal economy, uh, offline economy already on the market. And on top of that, you can have this DeFi uh, functionality, all the beauty of the blockchain tooling. And if you combine it all together with everything you go to marketplace of everything with the social layer like a multi-level network and people create stuff and get rewards directly from whatever income you can imagine. It can be mar marketing um, income like uh, Web2.0 is operational right now. So the Coca-Cola comes, uh, pay $1 million to Facebook. Facebook is displaying the commercial. So the user is watching. Nothing happened, but Coca-Cola spent some money. Facebook earned some money and some creator also on TikTok or, or, or YouTube also get a cut. A community, zero or almost zero. I don't know, maybe there are some algorithms, 
you know, applications on the planet which are paying users like sustainably over time. They don't crash after six months or two years. I don't know about them, uh, but yeah, this is the our flexible, programmable, um, infinite source of wealth for all this community combined. And we'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah, um, I want to uh, talk right now about uh, what people already know, which is uh, they use every day stories, reels, uh, they place contact, they create videos, they message people, they do all of these things they already do every single day. So, first of all, are they going to be able to do it in Kandao in the exact same way? Of course, way? of course. Uh, not exactly the same way because before they didn't own it. <laughs> now right. they will, so... I know, but it, so the, the better life, way. the it's real, better the way. story... Yes, yes, of um. course, of course. So the stories, uh, so people which are your friends can see it or people who will be your friends, so not yet, because in Magify we have this. I will maybe share uh, later on. Uh, and about Reels, so if you are sharing your Reels, of course you are making the same uh, like on Instagram, plus yeah. more because of transactional layer which we uh, talked about before. Right. You have also, you know, Going chat. Live. Yeah, of course, you have also chat, you, you can talk with people, like all of these. Great groups. Yes, like, of course. Okay. It's the normal things which <laughs> must be here. People can comment, they can like, they can share. Uh, how else? <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Because this is programmable protocol, and you can basically copy the applications like Facebook with all the functionalities. It's going to be on the marketplace, but not created by Facebook or by Google, but created by the community with embedded model to distribute money and profits and benefits, whatever kind. All of this is on the blockchain. Inside of, yes, on the blockchain. But you cannot store maybe picture or movie, right? Blockchain is not for that. Yeah. How is the gigabyte ter public know, storage terabytes of uh, video like where all of this stuff is going to be hosted public storage public storage yes yeah, so actually you will have you know piece of storage for you and then you just have private keys to it like we are configuring blockchain and storage and connected so basically if you upload things then you like all of these things are going to get nfts or different tokens depend what it is uh, and then you are managing this by private keys. So then you can maybe uh, sell it if you wish. And then let's say you produce uh, a reel. This reel um, has different income streams, right? Because of advertising and, and transactional layer. And then first, uh, I want to say in the world uh, already, so you will be able to, s to sell this re reel, but also with rights to these income streams. So if I sell the reel, basically this person can use this content however he wants on his way. But if he didn't buy it, then he cannot just copy the video somehow. I mean, if you're producing any kind of content, it's directly connected to your addresses. And maybe mm, we share a bit of on-chain ID uh, because it's identification tool. Uh, you mentioned before, so what if I bring another address, right? Remember before, different location. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and the answer is that you can bring another trust wallet, another MetaMask, another, you know, whatever. And that's good. Actually, that's very good because first, in our lives, we will be able to control our data, our whatever we produce, and we need to make sure that you will not lose your access to it. Right. First of all, because of multiple private keys, so different wallets. Second, because we will deliver something called social to uh, social keys, sorry. Uh, and social keys will like um, be a special way to recover your access to these things by, uh, for example, your friends, which will be part of, um, not a key, but part of... Um, Protocol, serving the purpose. Yeah. And maybe in different part you will just bring different devices, or maybe bank will be part of you know this identification for yourself. And if you connect all these dots, then you're uh, confirming you are you, and you can get back to your uh, stuff which you had, but maybe you lost. So, and let's come back to this on-chain ID. If you bring different wallets, how can we identify that you are you? Basically, because we are social layer, so we treat 
uh, like Facebook, login, uh, and Google, and all of this, um, as a wallet, kind of. Yeah. So you can connect Facebook, you can connect Google, okay. connect LinkedIn, and then we will identify everything you are doing in the internet. Right. And then, whatever you touch from these things with different wallets, immediately you will receive on this wallet uh, something we call on-chain ID, which is special NFT. I don't know uh, if people may be not be familiar with soulbound tokens. Soulbound token is a special token that uh, you cannot sell, you cannot transfer, it's just, just there. Just identify you as you, that you yeah. are you, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Exactly, and then you have different wallets which are connected to you personally, and then that's it. And by the way, this is just socials and all what you do online. On the other hand, if we have, for example, a project and team would like to fundraise capital, there is, by the way, extremely great solution for um, delivering trust to projects. How many scams we had? I think like 95% we had uh, failed projects in the past. I don't say all of them were scams, but unfortunately that was not a good radio, right? And if we will require from the team members to make QIC, and this QIC will always be also connected to on-chain ID, then you are able to track every single wallet and you know exactly that this is that guy, that guy, you know, and imagine he so will fly. It's more trust for people yeah. to invest in projects uh, that it's verified mm -hmm. the yeah. team members of this project by the That's the core on chain ID. Part. If you're talking about trust, it's like the blockchain has consensus, right? Proof yeah. of work, proof of stake. And this is simple. Imagine the consensus on our protocol, which comes from people, from all kind of assets or heroes in the marketplace. So basically, if, if you are looking for authentication some, uh, of some project, of some asset, of some, I don't know, contract, you can ask people to confirm, right? So if, for example, some professor very, uh, out, like, uh, um, uh, like researching the stuff for a long of, uh, time with a proven authority in the matter, if he confirms that this is some powerful confirmation, if the community based looking for the project confirms that the founders or the environment around or any connections, you know, networks around are true and this is not fake and it's going to work, then you have another kind of consensus. There are plenty of space for virtual consensuses inside of the protocol, right? Made by, by, by humans, which is the most powerful thing because basically this is human against human across the digital space, right? You cannot, because there is like no protocol on the market asking humans about what they think about it, you have to talk with the digital something, which th this causes the problem, right? So as, as long as, uh, since you bring the people to the table, you can play different, do different game, different cards. And this is a game changing, in, in my opinion. I don't know wow. if you agree. So, uh, you already said that all the popular features of other social media platforms that uh, everybody loves already, you're going to integrate it yes. with your platform. Uh, and of course, you have a whole bunch of other features that are unique, special, and nobody else is doing. One is, you mentioned on-chain ID, which is very at the heart of everything, identification, uh, not allowing people to create fake accounts and all of that. Yeah. Then. Uh, you mentioned about the ability to, for people easily, boom, 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 three steps process or whatever. Very simple to create their own social token mm -hmm. for influencers and for everyone else. Everyone basically what can monetize themselves, their value, their network and provide, sure. provide value. So that's very unique and special. What else is gonna be like unique features of the platform? I know okay. one is Matchify, so yes, please. Uh, elaborate. Um, I, co I can say about Matchify, but maybe also Robert say about Matchify, I say about marketing engine because I thought about it. It's basically. Deal. Pardon? Deal. Deal? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is that um, with new kind of ecosystem in Web3, we're also able to deliver mm. new kind of um, roles. Before Facebook, before Google, yeah. did we have influencers? Like, you know, 
they created them. So in Web3, also different kind of roles will come on top, or maybe different kind of influencers as well. Uh, for, for example, about marketing engine. Imagine you have, for example, McDonald's, which would like to deliver new kind of product, new kind of burger, right? And they would like to make sure that they reach whole world in very easy steps and also that people trust it. So the best if friends maybe share it. How can you do it? So what if McDonald's would share some marketing budget in tokens and in form of TikTok, uh, they would require, okay, maybe take a picture inside McDonald's uh, that you have a burger, this new, new one, uh, maybe with some french fries and cola uh, and do something, right? And then if you do it, you will get some tokens of these McDonald's tokens. Okay. So, and then you can have like maybe, I don't know, 10 millions of people which will repeat that. And because all of us, uh, you know, like everyone right now is kind of micro-influencer, yeah. then you can have 10 million of people which are doing the same thing, the whole world will know about it, you know, in super easy and efficient way. So it will help uh, different mm. brands to market themselves yeah, that's, more efficiently through the power That's of... a big part for advertisers. Wow, wow. That's, that's huge, that's massive. So, Matchify, a couple <laughs> of words. Yeah, deal done. <laughs> Since we have a lot of information about the people, like all the assets of the marketplace, of the protocol, we can connect them not only online, but also offline. So Matchify starts with uh, just a simple example. When you start a project, this is a startup, usually you go for money, you seek for money on the market. Uh, what about changing it to seeking for people, for the right team? Everybody struggles with it. So Matchify, the, one of the most uh, beautiful things is to construct the Matchify like an algorithm connecting with the huge efficiency and very uh, high ac accuracy the people you need for the certain job, for example in startup. And then you can bring it offline so people not only online can uh, can. So they uh, have can like a discussion groups, let's say by roles, or you know that these people uh, share simu similar yeah. uh, roles and values, and you it will identify like how close they are, and people can say, oh, there is a meeting going there for a yeah. coffee. I'm gonna meet like-minded people who are like yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. Also, the nice thing is uh, this is like in the background. So you go to the street. Normally you are disconnected. Online you get, just have maybe a WhatsApp in your pocket or something like a messenger, notifications, pretty annoying ones. So this time you will get notifications from what you seek. What, how do we know what you are seeking for? We have it from the multi-role and from the protocol, all about you. It's still in your hands. We don't steal, we don't like trade this data, but this is for your benefit. You go to the street and you have all it in your pocket with you. So we, you can be easily connected to folks like 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 minded people around you. This is a nice feature. Wow. But also think yeah. about this one. If we, uh, I mean, we want to connect people yeah. in this new way to let them build projects in a better way, more efficient. Let's say you would like to uh, open new project, open new business. <coughs> Sorry. Or maybe you would like to. Uh, scale up your current business. You know exactly what kind of people you're looking for. So imagine just, you know, this case, let's say you know every single person in Dubai. I mean, in reality. That's crazy, right? But let, let's imagine for this concrete example. And then you can choose by concrete roles that you're looking today only for programmers. Only them. And to your restaurant, I mean, where you're, when you're sitting, only programmers, only programmers, they will come. The good right. ones, the good, good ones, ones, because we know which one. Because you can you can check this track record, but real track record, not the fake one. Wow. So you know exactly who is coming. You can accept them, and you know only in concrete roles. And maybe you can also choose activities. So you want to play, you know, basketball. So you will play basketball today only with influencers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's <laughs> amazing. Um, what what other thing? I know launch pads are going to be possible. People kind of launch pad inside Kandao of their projects, right? In a new way. I mean, because when you are opening a project, 
Everyone can just join us in different roles, as we already mentioned before. And one of those roles is investor. So we just put some capital in. But also we can maybe put some different assets. So like whatever is necessary. And everybody in Kandao can actually somehow benefit from this project raising capital in, in their launch, launching their project. We can all benefit from it. Yeah, of course. Because of How? the MLM structure. So some percentages of that launch pad is going to go and project, not launch pad, project. Project yeah. will be benefiting uh, the CDO holders. Ah, you mean this part? So basically, CDO holders benefit from actually everything what can now yeah, charge. Yeah, let's talk about CDO. So we have a soon a token generation event where we're, we're like right now it's early. <laughs> we are not even launched yet. So we have CDO. And uh, people who buy the CDO and hold it, uh, they can actually be part of the ecosystem. They can use all the benefits of the ecosystem. And uh, what are the ways the holders of CDO will be able to, to use it and, and benefit from it? It's your favorite stuff. So. Pardon? Your favorite yeah, so, stuff. Okay, first of all, because we charge from actually basically everything, every transaction and CDO is um, application gas so you need it for actually everything for example uh, and this is really really nice if you are making money on your social token you charge maybe this two percent and we charge uh, we charge from zero to fifty percent of what you make this is so bad. <laughs> I mean, but we do it for a reason. Why? Because if we charge 50%, in this case 1%, it means that you, your social token is not generating like turnover at all, zero. So if you generate turnover for your social tokens, and by the way, you have the best interest to do it because you want to make money, so yeah. you will generate turnover for your social token, then you get discounts or massive discounts, and your, um, you just make more money because we charge you less, right? And let's, let's say maybe we charge you now 30% from what you make. And then you can buy also some CDO tokens, and you get another discount. So maybe we charge you 10%, or maybe zero. So you can imagine that every so single... So if you have the CDO, you'll pay less uh, fees. Yes, and you just make more money. So how much people would like to make more money? I can imagine everyone. So you have every single person in the world who will have direct need, demand, to build CDO token because they want to make more money. It is so simple, right? And then we also charge like maybe uh, from um, a project, if projects will fundraise capital, let's say project fundraise maybe $10 million, yeah. and we charge part of it. So, and, and part of this capital will also go to uh, the network and part of this will go to CDO holders because we have a 35 percent reporters program and then it's going to all the people which are staking CDO. Mm. So you stake CDO <coughs> and, and you enjoy some of that liquidity, some of those fees that yeah. you charge for the exactly. launch pads, projects, advertising, there will be advertising, yeah, right? of course. Yeah. social media leaves and, and dies. And, Breezes advertising all day long, so yeah. you'll be charging advertising, correct? Of course. For brands, whatever, yeah. businesses. So th this revenue is going to partially go to yes, to yes. Kandao and partially to benefit everyone. Exactly. Okay, that's that's beautiful. So uh, more users, more revenues. Higher CDO price. Let, let's see what, what we have not covered yet. <laughs> um, yeah, any any other things uh, for the features that are huge that is coming that we didn't cover yet? You know, features are gonna be created by the community. We hope for that. And our main target and focus would be to master the algorithm behind mm -hmm. the social overlayer, all the kind of layers which makes creation possible so the community should do like uh, another Facebook no offense 
but we want to make sure that the social network within the space is like perfect for the community. Confirmed, voted, no fakes, you know, in uh, distribution of information in a proper way, distribution of uh, marketing income to this particular application, no fake, and also for in the benefit of the community. And it goes for, mar we kind of um, identify separately application and separately like an engine, like for example, marketing engine. And it should be like on top of any other application. So the model is like divide money be between the applications, CDO holders, MLN, and like an algor uh, automatically, algorithmically calculated for all of it, like for all the network. Uh, the content discovery engine, it's gonna be there. If you wanna mimic Spotify, if you wanna uh, play uh, movies, uh, people wanna you know, listen to the music or, or just watch, you need to know what they want to actually listen to or, or watch. Or like on Amazon, you have the powerful recommendation engine behind the Amazon, right? right. So the engines gonna be the powerful calculators what we should do with the data still in the hands of the people but the engines created by the community guided managed by the community will be taking a huge part in distribution not only money also content and then on top of the uh, engines will be applications so basically we can have a lot of facebook's uh, in different contexts. If the community wants to create a Facebook like a social network experience within the context, they can just go for an app. Use the uh, engines, use the policy, use, use the um, a marketing engine and connect to the application. So this is master and perfected along the ecosystem. That's the point. So you have already the, the app being submitted for review on the yeah. App Store. This yeah. is the first uh, version. Yes. First wallet. Yeah. First we're... wallet. Yeah. So you start with the with the wallet, so people can create the private keys and everything else. Um, is people will be able to already like do lives and put content uh, message in this uh, version of the app? No, I mean we want to deliver it step by step. Right now with the wallet, you will get like referrals on your wallet. And by the way, you can get also referrals. You can see them on your on our web application. Yeah. Uh, it's happening on the on the smart contracts. Right. So you just check it out. Uh, and uh, we and our go-to-market strategy is about to first build like a uh, first community, kind of inner circle, and of conscious people that will be able to invite every single you know influencer, artist. Um, content creator right. so and this is the easiest and the best way to scale up and because uh, you know everyone are friends of everyone yeah. at the end of the day then um, if we first build this community then we also deliver these tools so that all influencers could come and scale it up I mean it would be bad if we scale up too quickly before we deliver like certain important features so we just so what, do it step what, by step what, what is the roadmap approximately for for this year and next year uh, like what's gonna be coming next we start with the wallet which is obvious and uh, there is also an onchain id which identifies you but we are more about authentication of the transactions rather than identification this is a little bit different it sounds similar and before TGE, you can expect what Pavel said, and after TGE, we will use two, two things, the own team of coders and the community base already. We'll be testing on the playground, I can say, the multi-role with people connecting to the project, including Kandao project. We have several things we want to list and see how it goes with external people connecting for multi-role to, uh, to our protocol. So this year, I would bet on mastering the Machify because it's also about connecting. So every project or initiative before starting that has to co collect community or professional roles and money. So we need to bring it to the table so people can start. And, and social then, tokens, of course. And social tokens. And social tokens, yeah. I oh. forgot about it, yeah. And the whole messaging <laughs> part, uh, 
Yeah. yeah, also some normal stuff like forums, groups, messaging, reels, uh, uh, shorts will be there to stories. So Stor it should, stories it should, should come be. this year. Yeah, it will be this year. Yeah. I mean, in a basic form. In a basic form. In the basic. Yeah, we will yeah. not copy like the whole TikTok. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be there. So actually, we can um, talk about two phases. One is around TGE. Of course, now around TGE, are more or less um, at the end of the year. Then something big also will come. Uh, so and basically, this is it. Is, is this stuff already uh, coded and you're going to be rolling out? Well, it or? is already coded, and we are right now coding, for example, Magify, mm -hmm. and like it's still happening. But you can think about that if you have maybe like 15, 20 people which are doing this, uh, you will not build Facebook with this stuff, right? You, you need hundreds or thousands of people. Uh, I think Zuckerberg said. Uh, that he really need to focus on functionalities because he has only 700 people, you know, so he is limited. I remember that day. It was a yeah, public so statement. I got just but seven. How, how many people there? Like 5,000? Uh, in oh. Facebook? Like working more, on Facebook? More, more. I think more. Much more. more. Much more. Yeah. So the thing is that uh, we are rolling out step by step with the community, with priority pass sale, because we are conscious that first of all, we need to uh, deliver uh, maybe basic tools that people can use all of the stuff. People can have this on-chain profile and it works. On the other hand, to build really, you know, web-free, decentralized social media in a like way that everyone wants, then it will take like lots of cash, lots of people, but really lots of people, as you can imagine. That's why so we have to core expand, team. Uh, yes. Hugely hire a lot yeah, of people. That's, that's obviously yeah. this that's, type of work it requires. Yeah. That's why Robert yeah. mentioned that we will start also with a core team. On the other hand, we will hire pe everyone around. Yeah. Through multi role. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. This is like instantly building community, a user base for the certain task for certain application. Like embedded in the DNA of the creation. You cannot basically, or you shouldn't be able to create any application without user base just it's it sounds like artificial so this is the multi-role this is why the protocol this is why the marketplace so you said about the token generation event so it's going to be happening in march correct no no, no. march we are starting sale uh, yeah. by end of q2 which is we expect june yeah so there'll be a pre-sale basically yeah in, yeah in march in march yeah and uh, what happened in june tg, TG. token generation event oh okay so the token generation will yeah. happen in June. Yes, yes. in June. And during this time, March until June is a is a pre-sale. Yeah. Pre-sale. Okay. Yeah. And we expect. How much uh, money you expect to raise? Yeah. Yeah, this is the question. <laughs> so we aim to. Uh, our goal is seventy-five million dollar sale. I mean, let's not consider it as an ICO. Definitely not. We are just releasing our product, and that's why we have priority pass with domains. So, for example, you have special domain, but without .com, without .net, just forget about it. You have, you know, yeah. just maybe Tom, just, you know, uh, Chris. And this, this domain is part of, like, what? Priority in, pass. In your network, yeah. only yes. available. I mean, first Web3 of all. Web3 domain. Web3 domain, which is uh, compatible with uh, Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum, and, of course, Polygon, those three. Um, and the purpose is that, first of all, you can send um, cryptos. Instead of putting this long address, you just put the name, for example, domain yeah. name. Then you will be able to link with your on-chain profile and also web-free websites when they are more accessible. So, and this, basically this is it. Uh, then also we have our NFT collection, and it's inside this priority pass package. So if people... Um, like get this priority pass, then they have rights to uh, claim NFT hero, but if they invite people who also buy priority pass. So we just want to get like a snowball effect that everyone invite everyone. And we have also limited supply of this NFT in the, from our collection, which also have um, utilities like maybe uh, increase your staking rewards or maybe uh, pay no fees and this kind of stuff. Yeah. So in this priority pass, we talk about uh, the uh, the domain, the Web3 domain, without.com.net, 
uh, we talk about uh, the NFT, which is limited and provide unique benefits. And of course, of course, your network, right? This is why we are not uh, uh, present on any other <coughs> launchpad ever on internet. It just has to go through Kandao because this is the right way to do stuff. It's like a community-based project, not like spread it across many lunch paths like an ICO. We don't treat it this way. The basic amount is $150 and you get a domain which is in the future serving for your lifetime. It's, I think it's a market price like 50 to 100 bucks a year currently. So this is lifetime. So we are giving you basically maybe $2,000 worth a domain uh, with no extension, like Pavel said, for 150 bucks. You don't have to buy more like CDOs. If you wish, no problem. It's going to be there, not for the long time because it's going to end up at some point. We have a pool of 500 million CDOs for the pre-sale and uh, we're pretty sure it's going to be sold out quite quickly. But yeah. Only 500 million. Yeah, only uh, 500 million. The uh, hard cap, uh, total Two, maximum supply, 2.5 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. 2. billion. So yeah. 500 million yeah. will be a pre-sale. And yeah. because they're application gas, it's like, you know, yeah. for everyone. So during, uh, where, when people can buy the priority pass, is it during the pre-sale? Yes, this is during the pre-sale. So only during the pre-sale they can buy the priority pass, which exactly. will come with a certain yeah. models of the CDO token in it. Yeah. With after, the NFTs and the domain. Yes, after the TG, it's going to be normally open market on um, Uniswap and stuff like that. Decentralized exchanges first. And also, if you are asking about priority pass sale, it's very important to uh, talk about how price change because we have like many pools, and to every pool there is um, sorry every price there is collected a pool. So and uh, they are very small, increasing rapidly. So that if the pool is going to be sold out, then price is changed to another one, another one, another one. Price goes a little bit up. So yeah, the, all the, the time. Next pool finish complete, the price going a little bit up. If it's not finished, in 24 hours we uh, switch forward anyway. So the price will increase anyway. Mm -hmm. So we start with 4 cents and basically uh, it might end up with 0 0.2 dollar. Mm -hmm. So this is the TGE price. Okay. And because highest volume is always at the end, mm -hmm. like doesn't matter where do we stop, then the average price is like the last price, more or less, of course. So yeah, that's very cool. That, that's very good because then they all create a lot of excitement. People want to get get their hands on CDO as, as soon yeah. as possible. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Because it pays off, right? Right, right, right. Um, so that leads us to uh, another two very important questions. Uh, yeah. the, the first one is, uh, you obviously. Uh, to accomplish your big vision, uh, you need and sustain it for decades to come. You need sources of revenue for the platform to hire all the team and people and support, etc. So, which ways the Kandao platform is going to be earning in order to support the mission? We earn some provisions like everybody, so we are not worse. So, but my dream, I think, our dream would be to connect people, not money. So stay in the crypto space and uh, exchange values within the system. We don't have to go outside for the fiat. I mean, sometimes you have to, but our dream, of course, right, uh, the vision would be to stay within the system and do everything what's possible there to create the engines, the applications based on the human skills and intelligence, right? Independently from any other system you know currently on the market. That would be the goal. So what, what are the revenue uh, events happening that will supply you with uh, what you need for expansion? Yes, yeah, so basically we are generating all the time demand for CDO and we are making money on every transaction, as we already mentioned. Doesn't matter if it's, you know, Rihanna event or this is, you know, just a project which is being built by people. Uh, and based on this, we just, you know, take a cut of it. We share this 35%, but also we get... 35%, yeah, yeah. I mean, to, of to the fees that people... Yeah, make. exactly. Yeah, yeah but it, it goes two ways. Like, if we earn, you earn. If you earn, we earn. It's, it's fair. 
Right. Always. Right. right. And we have to make sure that everybody always earns at least a little bit. It is fairly distributed. Also for advertising. Any yeah. income stream, any transaction within the network. Renting, selling, buying, uh, borrowing, uh, all the DeFi stuff we already know, which is kind of tricky. Yes. Yeah. It's sometimes dangerous. We know that from crypto. Sometimes uh, it's not so and common. And we know from the network effect that we have <laughs> so many users and of transactions. Course. Of I mean, course. and we, yeah. you know, because we are very conscious about how big that can be, mm -hmm. because you know, Facebook was the one who showed us that how rapidly you can get, you know, to three billion of users, right? Yeah. And that was the one who really did it. So that was social network. Right now, for example, Binance is an amazing project, amazing exchange. They've got like 200 million of users, but they are still exchange. In social I think network, you can, you can go to three billion faster. Than Facebook. Uh, I yes. mean, of course, right now we have different time. Now, what I wanted to say is that social network has different rules of the growth. Yeah. Right. And that's why, because of this, we want to comply also with, you know, regulators and make sure that everything is, like, properly done, right? Yeah. It's, it's really important for us, because if we will be uh, the bridge between current Web 2.0 to Web mm -hmm. 3, then we must make sure that all of users will be uh, treated properly and that they will be safe. Yeah. Safety so is important. So on the other hand, you have this uh, hard technology with uh, a lot of people on the planet are a little bit uh, struggling with comprehending, you know, understanding and joining, like a crypto space in general. You know, yeah. media says sometimes good stuff about it, sometimes yeah. not so much. On the other hand, you have this Facebook with three and a half billion people. In between, there is like a gap. It's missing something which we want to fill in with the Kandao protocol, interconnecting the hard stuff with the easy stuff. So people can have uh, easy mass adoption, easy onboarding process. Yeah, that will be the point. And, and now for the for the user, so, you know, the user join, they, they they create a wallet, they create a private keys, they start start using the platform. They're excited. Yeah. They they invite their friends. Exactly. You know, what are explain in very simple language. You know, how can the regular person, the regular user, how they can, you know, basically. Uh, benefit from Kandao, how they can uh, uh, earn from Kandao. Yeah. What are the different ways they can, you know, basically uh, monetize uh, this platform? I mean, in general, they come because we pay them. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be the first application who pays to the 95% of so the people. Not they, only to 5% of the crypto guys who know exactly when to buy when to sell, you know, all the transactions, Uniswap and stuff like that, provisions, but we want to pay to the general public, to 95% of the people. Because they already have the wallet, the crypto yeah. wallet. Yeah. So yeah. They, they bring the network, and because of this network activity, they can exactly. share all of the fees. You yeah. can imagine, in the past we used uh, notifications to maybe check our Facebook to see that something, you know, so picture or is related to us, so cool. Okay, but let's go further. Notification uh, of yeah. just earn. <laughs> yeah, and you have notification that you just got ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars, right? Yeah. Because it's coming right. from different, and you this can see. This part alone is going to create such a viral effect. <laughs> yeah. History of transaction is the new life. Yeah. But then you can see exactly from what it came, right? You can see someone, or maybe some group of people did a project. And you can see, oh wow, they, those guys, my friend did a project, or friend of my friend, hey, maybe I joined, you know? <laughs> and then maybe you can see that they had some nice event. And by the way, where we are talking about event, events, um, this is very special because we talked about projects. What is project? You can define, okay, business. But what kind of? Uh, you can think, okay, maybe let's open ID, or maybe let's open a restaurant. It's cool, but what about if you give infinite uh, possibilities to uh, grow and actually deliver things. So let's talk about event. For example, we mm, would like to, we would love to have maybe Rihanna in Dubai, for example, you know, and, uh, and then we just share this kind of project 
we have a token for this project, which could be also representation for, or we, we can we generate token, which is representation for a ticket to Rihanna, which is still not here. She's, you know, uh, in USA. And, and then we spread our word to all our friends. And then they also like this idea, because hey, man, it's a good idea to have Rihanna in Dubai. It was like so long time. Uh, and, and then it goes viral. More and more people share it. And you know, because all of us have small communities or bigger communities, uh, we can easy, in easy way, attract more and more people. And then you can realize you have hundreds of thousands of people which support this event, and they buy a token, which also is a, a ticket as well. By the way, smart contract, so if, this, if it won't happen, then you can get all money back, no risk at all. And then this community can go right to Rihanna, hey, you know, but we have all this community, they want you here, money is already on table, what do you think about it, you know? And then you can realize that few people can make big things. Yeah. So you talk about Rihanna event. Yeah. Rihanna is a huge pop star and you know, there is nothing better for a social media platform to go completely viral is when we have pop stars, exactly. movie stars, rock stars, <laughs> artists, like have huge followers, like the, the Rock, for example, you know, or uh, Justin Bieber or whoever it is, Beyonce, coming on the platform and say, hey guys, I'm here. Uh, who will con convince them? People. So, yes, so, so tell me, uh, that's huge. Uh, <coughs> do you yes. have already some celebrities who are excited about this platform that maybe you can share already at this early stage? Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I if, mean, you, if, you, if you can, it's okay. If you, if you can I mean, mention a name. We have 250 million followers combined in few pretty interesting names. So Is we it? have few already that that's what it, we are talking We are talking to, yeah, and they, they like it a lot. Yeah. So Like it, excited, yeah. say, yeah. no one, guys? They, yeah. We can do this. They will yeah. be... On, in, in June, presented to the public. Mm. Yeah. 250 million uh, followers combined. Yeah. That's, that's huge. That's very exciting. Yeah, that's huge. Are, are you guys planning? Maybe it will increase, but for now it's just 250. <laughs> I mean, we are at an early stage. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you guys plan to have some kind of a, a, like a event where, you know, like uh, Steve Jobs, like, hey, here is iPhone. Here's Actually, we there. plan a yes. convention in Dubai, okay. uh, which will be around TG. Okay. Um, we just need to make sure, um, because TG is in June, then it's really, really hot here. So we need to adjust our plans and make sure small that details. the most, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you do plan to have? Yeah, we have, we have a plan to make a Maybe convention. Maybe in Dubai Mall, this is a lot of air conditioning <laughs> there, so. <laughs> just, of course, there is. <laughs> just we have to make sure that it's not... It's hot outside, but inside is... Yeah, not cold. 250 million users will come, so yeah. Wow. So basically, everyone who is watching this video right now, they are very lucky. They are. Because they are right now watching this. The platform is not live yet, but they can already start building their network on the blockchain. Yeah, sure. they already can start inviting friends and they already can start connecting wallet to wallet and they can see it. It's already there. It's working. It's like amazing, guys. Yeah. You are here watching this right now. And it <laughs> cannot be taken away from them. It's like forever. That's the trick. That's the trick. That's the trick. You do once, like, it's connected to yeah. the wallet. It's going to be there. It's not going to appear. How would you like to delete? It's not possible. It's on the blockchain. That's but when I create a wallet in Kandao, uh, I need to import my keys or... Because the I people that use right now MetaMask to build <clears> this network. But you can... Uh, okay, so you can register with MetaMask as well. You can so, register with Of MetaMask. course, of oh, course. Okay. You can register yeah. with any wallet. So you don't have to we are connecting create a, a new private keys no, if no, no, you already no. have MetaMask. We oh. are uh, oh. connecting address to address, wallet to wallet. That's wow. it. Yeah. That is, that is absolutely... Massive guys, absolutely yeah. massive. So guys, this is absolutely amazing, and uh, I'm really looking forward for everyone watching this video to learn more about Kandao, to ask questions, to uh, be curious, and get to action. Because right now, 
this moment in time, the time is going to pass, the years are going to come. The question is, are you going to have a huge network of Kandao when this is going to go absolutely viral? So, thank you so much, uh, Thank Paolo. you. Appreciate your generosity. Thank you. And uh, see you guys soon.